Hi, and welcome to today's vlog. The International Booker winner has been announced. I won't know it yet, but you will know it when you see this. So I thought we would read from the Women's Prize long list. So the two books that I'll be reading this week are Children of Paradise by Camilla Gradova, as well as Wandering Souls by Cecile Pinn. Now, these two books did not make the long list. However, I chose them as personal predictions to make the short list. So let's get reading and see how they fare. of Paradise and this is not at all what I expected it to be. So we'll start off with what I liked about this book. Um, I like the cover. I think it's gorgeous. I love the contrast of colors on the inside flap. I like the idea of this book that she was trying to put forth but I think it misses its mark. I really like the structure in terms of each chapter is the title of a movie and the director but i really got lost a lot of the times with why the chapter was named after this movie because i wasn't familiar with the movie so i really wish that she had uh, put a little blurb maybe at the beginning of each chapter explaining the film so that i could make a connection but i really felt that that got lost um, the main character decides to randomly name herself Holly, and all I could think of was Holly Golightly from Breakfast at Tiffany's. But this is no Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, in the inside blurb, it refers to it as being gothic, but I don't think this is gothic at all. I think that this is horror. And while I love myself a good horror novel, this is not a good horror novel. The characters in it are despicable, they're unlikable, they're all dysfunctional, and together they become even more dys dysfunctional. This book is uh, gross in so many different ways in terms of talking about bodily fluids and things that they have to um, clean up and uh, what they give to customers for food. It's uh, just, it's like train spotting in a theater. Um, I found that the plot was quite contrived, that once Holly sort of established her, herself at Paradise, the movie theater, that there needed to have, something needed to happen in, in order to change this, the circumstance to push the characters forward. So I really think that, and this isn't a spoiler because it's named in the blurb, that when the um, ownership changes and sort of corporate life descends on them and magnifies their dysfunctional family it just doesn't work it just goes to even worse places um, i don't think that there is any hope in this book which makes me so sad um i think one of the the best sort of sentences that sums up this book takes place towards the end but it's not a spoiler she writes, living in the past in the same place, I have to be in the present. My mind often feels like a double exposed photograph and the cinema like an ancient artifact I tread lightly around. To not displace any memory, though sometimes I am unsure where I am, whether a moment from the past will mistakenly come next, and time is just a mixed up jewelry box I grab helplessly from, wearing mismatched tangled earrings and necklaces, some gaudy and fake, others real and precious, old and brand new. So I think that that really sums up what she's trying to do with the novel, but I think that the idea of it is great, but I don't think it was well executed. I also wish that the paradise, the theater, was more of its own sort of monstrous character. Uh, and that's 
my thoughts on Children of Paradise. And so let's get going with Wandering Souls by Cecile Pinn. So I finished Wandering Souls, and I think this is a really good book. Um, first of all, the things I really liked about it, I think that the, this cover is stunning. I like that there's little gold balls for everyone who passed away. Um, at first, I struggled with this book because I thought it was an immigration story, and it was failing to... Don't growl at yourself. Thank you. And I thought it was an immigration story and I really thought it was lacking. And it wasn't until about halfway through the book that I discovered that this really is a story about grief and transgenerational um, trauma. So where the book changed for me is page 127, so more than halfway through. And she writes, there is a proper way to grieve in the eyes of others, not too little, not too much. But there is a part of grieving that occurs behind the curtain, a part that is just for us and the deceased. I suspect it is in this private communion, Ripley, away from the crowd and the judgment that we can find a solace. Um, so that's when the book changed for me, but I wish that this had been brought forward earlier, this theme. Um, I like the title, Ripley, stop. I like the title, Wandering Souls. Um, I like the examination of the spirituality. Hey, I liked all the different voices, although it was unclear to me. So there's two different voices. They're done in different fonts. And it really, I didn't figure out who the last narrator was until almost the end of the book. Um, I struggled with the large time leaps. Ripley, stop growling at yourself. It's just you up on there. So I struggled with the time leaps. There's one that's more than 20 years and it really lost me. It was too jarring. I really liked the ghost voice of Dao, the younger brother, and how that brought another element of spirituality and how um, they believe that the dead intermingle with them. I thought that was, was well, well done. Um, I loved Jane's voice. I thought that, um, her ruminations on philosophy and spirituality were really well done, but I didn't discover who she was until the end of the book. And if I had known earlier on that this was who was speaking, it would have had a greater impact on me. Um, I thought that the ending was brilliant and beautifully written. Um, it was the best part of the book for me. I really wish that the entire book had that strength. Um, and I think the reason why I struggled with this book so early on is because when you have two amazing prizes going on and you're reading just from those prizes, you read incredibly brilliant books. So in the past six to eight weeks, I've read The Birthday Party, Demon Copperhead, Fire Rush, um, The World According to the gospel according to the new world stillborn whale these are phenomenal books and i think that just this week i've just gotten a little grumpy and been too harsh in my reviews of these novels so good book worth read and there was an announcement from the booker prize we uh, normally the booker long list is announced in july we always call that or i call that christmas in july um, for my house, but it is now going to be announced a little bit later on August 1st. So, sorry for the shenanigans. Thank you for hanging out with me and joining me. Ripley, stop. Stop. If you're so inclined, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ripley, talk.